Nathan says, action, we're ready to go. Today in eighth grade math, boys and girls, we're discussing correlation. Correlation we talked about two weeks before, before this whole chaos happened, chaos happened but we're gonna go over again. Describes how two variables associate. These are quantitative variables, ones with numbers. Scatter plots only work with numbers, Don't not forget, with words. Like and subscribe. Nathan tells me to tell you to like and subscribe. I honestly don't care, but if you want to, feel free to. Okay, so there are three different types of correlation you can have when it comes to linear. If it's not linear, it's not a correlation, it's an association. If it's going up, generally from left to right, it's called a positive correlation. If it's going down left to right, it's a negative correlation. And if there's no trend whatsoever, there's no correlation. Okay, so on the assignment you'll be asked to identify which type of correlation is it from a graph. But also slightly trickier questions. Yeah, you can see his Paw Patrol toy. Okay, is what variables would lead to a positive correlation? So like for instance, in children, height and weight are correlated. In children, elementary school age, the taller a child is typically the large more they weigh because they're both getting older. Now negative correlation means as one goes up the other goes down. Um, so an example of negative correlation would be size of car, how much it weighs, and the gas mileage. The bigger the car the worse gas mileage. An example of something with no correlation could be length of your pencil, and circumference of your head. Presumably, these have nothing to do with each other. Now, be careful in statistics. First, you need to have a large sample size. I actually had a class of like eight students measure their length of pencil and head circumference and actually found a positive correlation. That was weird. But also another key factor in statistics is that correlation is not causation. There is a famous example of ice cream sales being correlated to drownings each year. That actually has a positive correlation, but it's not because ice cream makes you fatter so you can't swim. No, I'll turn it, it's because ice cream sales happen in the summer, drownings happen in the summer, when people are swimming when they're not under quarantine. So, think about correlation, you're going to have to decide what the graphs look like, and also think about variables, as one goes up, does the other go up, that's positive correlation, or if one goes up, the other goes down, that's negative correlation, or if they have nothing to do with each other, that's no correlation. Thank you. Say bye, Nathan. Bye.